In this video, I will talk about how to set up a five axis mill. I will make it a three part video uh, where we can have to set up a mill in the first tutorial. The second one, we can able to integrate the machine tool into Siemens and uh, do the simulation of that uh, machine code uh, tool path. And finally, we will uh, use a part, five axis part, to prove out the power simulation that we did. We have to make sure that uh, we have our component, machine components that are we can able to go and select it uh, for each individual component. Come back and uh, select the machine tool builder. Let's give it a name. Y axis. No. That you right click it, insert machine component. So the way we build the kinematic chain, we will build all the components. Then we'll come back and build all the axes. Come here, machine base component. Go back and uh, assembly. We can take it up all those things that we don't need it. Okay, we will select the base. It's going to be the base, base casting. Now the base is the one that will not have any movement. So these are the four objects that we selected for the base. Always make sure that uh, the junction that you're going to create uh, will be the same as a machine uh, zero junction for the machine base component. Give it uh, okay for now. It is created. Like I told, uh, let's uh, go and create all the machine components and we'll come back and uh, do all the kinematic chains. Insert machine component. So this, the way the machine is set up, the B and C axis are the indexing axis on the rotary table. You can see the B axis and C axis. X, Y, and Z are the slides that will have a linear movement. Uh, we will be uh, seeing this one is X axis, Y, and Z. Uh, so now let's uh, select the B axis, B slide, B. Maybe this one, this one. The C axis is dependent on the B axis. So basically, uh, uh, B is an independent, and the C depends on the B axis where the, where the B axis it is. Insert machine component. Now we can uh, even uh, go and uh, put all the uh, setup components because uh, on the top of the uh, pallet we'll be uh, adding a fixture uh, using a um, raw bar and a plan on the pot. Name it setup. Since these are all going to be uh, just a placeholder for now, we don't have any part that we go and simulate in this tutorial. We'll come back and do it for in the second tutorial. For now, we'll just add it the setup component. I will go back and edit the machine component to select the junction we need. So this one is going to be, uh, like I told you, each machine tool will have, have a machine zero reference. So we need to find out where the machine zero reference is with respect to the model that we get, the assembly model we get. Obviously, the the workpiece origin of this assembly model won't be the same as the machine tool zero. So we need to find out where it is in this in this particular machine. Uh, we will uh, select here. Always make sure that uh, X, Y, and Z are pointing to the positive movement of the axis. So in uh, in this particular mill, the X is going to be the right hand of the axis is going to be facing this way. So now that we have all the movements of the axis, the positive, positive axis this way, positive Y is towards the back of the machine tool, and the Z is up above the top, up against the pallet. 
Now for um, okay, from from this point on, uh, we have to make sure that um, the zero, the top of the pallet for this particular machine, from this top of this face, from this face, it's about uh, twenty nine inches. So it's that's where the machine zero is. So you can see the junction is added. Now we need to go back and uh, make a junction for a B-axis uh, rotation. Let's add uh, one more uh, component here. Let's uh, name it as uh, name it as a uh, B-axis. Okay, you got all the right moments. Okay. So the B axis. Now we need to select that. The B rotation is around the Y axis. So we already selected minus y. Reason being is here the work piece is moving in relation to the machine tool. Select minus uh, minus y. It's gonna rotate. We're gonna select the b axis rotary as our uh, reference axis. Rotary. We have to select it. zero initial value at zero. Upper limit is one twenty. So the rotation of this one is 120 in the positive and minus 35, the B axis uh, the tilt. Okay, make sure it's rotating. Okay, looks good. Now for uh, Again for C axis rotary, let's give it a zero and the initial value will be 360. Okay, it does good. So in this case, either we can put a one more axis and put it in the center of the pallet, or you can use the machine to zero, it's the same. Now we gotta define the two slides. Now we'll go back and uh, define all the slides. Gonna be X, Y. Select the object. What's gonna be X slide? It's gonna be this, this. The moment is an X. Okay. Now from based on the X, the Y axis moved on the top of the X. Insert missing component. Y slide. Select the object. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay. Base on Y. Insert. Missing component. It's going to be Z slide. Up and down movement. It's going to be this one. This one. This one. This one. Or you can go and select all those. Okay. Now that you have all the slides, we'll go and add the axis. Insert axis. Give it as X axis. 
Now this is where the thing is. Now the, the, since the tool is moving in this case, you can go and uh, give it a x positive direction and also make sure the reference you're selecting as a machine based junction. That's why we, that's a machine zero that we selected. It's a linear. Okay, so now from you need to find out the assembly model itself. The reference is where is the x, y, and zero with respect to the uh, the assembly model uh, datum coordinate system. Where is the reference with respect to the machine zero that we selected? So machine zero we selected is from zero point here. Uh, you can uh, go and uh, find out from uh, analysis distance. Okay, so project projected distance. We need to find the project distance. Okay. To here. Okay. So that's how you found out uh, the distance from where the assembly initial assembly model is at. Axis number, initial value. So in this machine, the axis is symmetrical from the zero point from the center of the platter. It moves 20, 20 plus 20 this way and minus 20 that way. Okay, if you want to check it out. Okay, it's coming all the way down to the end of the slide. Going up, that's good. Now for the Y, you do the same thing. Insert axis. Y axis. Same way, with respect to machine zero junction plus y linear. Okay, then uh, same way I did go to an analyze and find out the distance, particular distance from where the machine zero is. Okay, you want to check it out. So it's doing doing right. Okay. So now for uh, insert. Okay. Linear. It's gonna be twenty four. Check it out. Okay. Now let's run the insert missing component. Spindle. Select. Spindle. Okay, spindle selector. Now the spindle is going to be insert axis. So we need to add a new new junction for this one. For now, let's keep it this way. They rotate unlimited. Okay, let's add a. Let's add a new junction. Spindle mount. Let's we'll call it a tool mount. Spindle junction speed. So in this case, we have to make sure the x axis is pointing upward. Arc center. Okay. So that's a tool mount junction. Let's give it a classification of yes so that we can use the machine Siemens provided sub programs. Yes. Okay. 